Let's check out the newest radio in my shack. Stick around and we'll get right to it. Hey, welcome back guys. Jason, KM4ACK. Today we're taking a look at the Redivus MA1 mobile radio that I just put in my shack. I got my hands on this radio right before Hamcation this year, and this is a 50 watt 2 meter radio. It'll put out 40 watts on 440. It has airband receive, it's full duplex, it has crossman repeat, and it includes everything you need to use with this radio in the box. But a couple of my favorite features is the detachable head that we can relocate, and it does include the separation cable right out of the box. One of my other favorite features is you'll notice that the microphone can plug in right here to the head of the unit or we can plug it in on the side of the body if you prefer. Now let me go ahead and get a couple of things out of the way right up front. There's two things in particular I don't care for about this radio. First is the programming software because it only works with Windows. Hopefully we'll get chirp support somewhere in the near future for this radio. The other thing that bugs me about this radio is the PTT delay. And I'm going to try to capture this on camera. You're going to watch when I push the PTT. We're currently on this side of the radio right here. And notice that it takes a half a second or so after I hit the PTT button for it to actually key the radio. So let's go ahead and take a look at that now. And you'll see that slight delay right there. Let's take a look at that one more time. And again, you can see that slight delay. Now, as long as you're aware of that fact and you take that into account, it's really not that big of a issue. But if you're one of those who keys the radio and immediately starts talking, you're liable to uh, get your first couple of words cut off. Now let's go ahead and check out the full duplex feature of this radio. I'm on the 440 side right here. We're going to go ahead and key up on it. I am on low power as indicated right there and I'm transmitting into a dummy load. And then we'll see if we can't hear an APRS packet on the other side of the radio. So full duplex works exactly like we want it to. Now, another concern for me is how easy is a radio to program from the front panel. So, let's take a look at this WB4 LHO repeater, and let's go ahead and get that programmed in. First thing I'm going to do is go ahead and key in the 145-490 on the keypad or on the uh, microphone keypad. Now, you'll notice that it does go ahead and do the auto shift as indicated by that negative just above the nine. But that is a feature you'll need to turn on and I'll show you how to do that in just a second. But let's go ahead and finish programming this radio for this repeater. Once we've got the initial frequency plugged in, we'll go ahead and tell it that we want a tone and then I'm gonna press the function button and then tone again to go ahead and set our tone in there of 100. Once we got that done, let's just press tone one more time to get out, and we now have that repeater in the VFO side. To put it into a memory, well, that's super easy as well. Press your function button right here, rotate to the memory number that you want to plug it into. In this case, we'll put it in 10, and then press MR over here and that just wrote it to memory. So it's super simple to write repeaters into the memory banks. Now, I mentioned just a second ago that we do need to turn on the automatic repeater offset. In order to do that, I'm gonna press the F button and then the large knob over here to the left. And we're going to go up to menu item 401, ARO, and make sure that that is turned on and that will do the auto offsets for you. Now, I have no issues with the receive audio quality of this radio on the local repeaters. Grab the rest of my things, gonna be renting a U-Haul trailer and making the trip. What I don't know is if it's gonna cost me more money and- However, the airband receive quality could use a little bit of improvement. Overall though, I am really happy with this radio and it's definitely earned a spot on the desk in my shack. If you're watching this during Prime Day, they're also running these for about 20% off. I'll leave a link to them down below. If you found today's information helpful, be sure to give us a thumbs up before you head off. We will see you guys on the next one. Until then, 7-3.